Yesterday, NASA made the huge announcement that organic matter had been found on Mars. That's right, NASA's Curiosity rover found organic preserved matter that suggests this planet was once home to life. Apparently, Mars has been far more alive than we ever knew. About this discovery, a scientist at NASA said, The chances of being able to find signs of ancient life with future missions, if life ever was present, just went up. So now that this discovery has been made, scientists should be on a more pressing hunt for evidence of possible alien life living on the planet. About this, an associate administrator at NASA said, With these new findings, Mars is telling us to stay on the course and keep searching for evidence of life. I'm confident that our ongoing and planned mission will unlock even more breathtaking discoveries on the red planet. So as we all know, currently the surface of Mars is inhospitable. But in the past, it's now been basically proven that there used to be running water, which could have helped to fuel life there. As we know, previously the rover headed over to an area that suggested to once have been a large lake of water. It was in this crater that scientists found new discoveries which suggest the lake had all the necessary ingredients for life, from chemical building blocks to the energy sources required to sustain life. The fact that now more than 3 billion years later we are finding organic matter preserved in these mudstones is just crazy. The new data is suggesting that the methane is being stored underneath the surface of the planet. Seasonal changes are appearing to bring that methane out and onto the surface. This is huge news and very cool. I want to know what you guys think. Do you think this planet once was home to living things. Let me know down in the comments. Hey guys, welcome back to LPM Court McGinley. So I thought Landon was going to be back today. I really truly did, but I guess not. But lucky for you guys, that means you have me. I'm thinking he should be back next week though. Like pretty certain. But regardless, as you guys know, we have a lot of interesting news stories headed your way. But just before we get into all that, I want to thank Night Rush for sponsoring this video. Night Rush is a new Swedish online casino. Of course, we will put their link in the description below so you can check them out. They have amazing games such as Big Bad Wolf, Legend of Loki, Empire Fortune, and so much more. Some of the games I would play would probably be the more classic games like Blackjack or Roulette. And something super cool is the fact that you can actually play these games live. They have over 500 online games that you can win a lot of money from playing. You can actually win a million dollars and not even leave your home. How cool is that? Luckily for you guys, right now they are offering an exclusive bonus which gives you up to 1,000 credits as well as 20 free spins. All you have to do is use this bonus code 28KH89 and just in case you missed that code, I will put it in the description box as well. It is a limited time code so make sure you use it ASAP. Also you must be 21 or older to play. We just want to thank Night Rush for making this video possible and now let's get into the news. Next in sad news, more than 120 pregnant whales in Japan were slaughtered for scientific purposes. The most recent killings were classified as a biological sampling, aiming to investigate the structure and dynamics of the Antarctic marine ecosystem. Research also shows that a total of 300 133 mink arctic whales were killed last summer alone and that 121 of those whales were pregnant. The whales were said to be killed by harpoons. Yeah, this is just disgusting. Apparently the nation is claiming that the animal stomach contents are needed to estimate prey composition and consumption. Also the local media revealed that the nation was actually selling all of the whale flesh by the bucket load at the local fish markets. Yeah, this is just so wrong. Next, Sedan Hussein's former yacht is being repurposed into a hotel. That's right, the former 80 32 meter super yacht will be converted into a hotel for pilots guiding ships into Besra. This yacht was built all the way back in 1981, but Saddam never set foot on it as it was always away from home. This place is equipped with a presidential suite, dining rooms and bedrooms, as well as 17 smaller guest rooms and 18 cabins for crew and clinic. Originally this vessel was put on the market for 30 million dollars but no one was buying it. <laughs> so authorities decided to use it permanently as a hotel and recreational facility for southern port pilots who lived in distant cities. At least it's being put to good use. <laughs> Next, school uses the lullaby Twinkle Twinkle Little Star to teach kindergartners about active shooter drills. This is from a school in Massachusetts, where the teacher wanted to teach their kids what to do if there's a shooter that's entered the school. I mean, it's a really sad and frustrating thing that this is the kind of world we live in now, where kids lullabies have to be repurposed into songs about how to protect yourself if there's a gunman in your school. When I was a kid, we were in a time where this wasn't even an issue. And as heartbreaking as that it is that we are currently in a time where this thing isn't uncommon, it is good that teachers are making sure that they are protecting their kids. It's just devastating that kids even need to be worrying about this kind of thing. But it is most important that they are safe and aware and they know what to do in case the situation happens. A lot of parents are pretty disturbed that this was in their child's classroom, but I mean better safe than sorry. 
The teacher who wrote this is doing the right thing and having her class read this. And it's something they will definitely remember as it's in the form of a song they are already familiar with. It's sad that the generation is growing up this way, but I think it's something that kindergarten classes need to know. If it saves kids lives, I'm all for it. What do you guys think? Is this inappropriate or helpful? Let me know your thoughts below. Next, OMG, the trailer for How to Train Your Dragon 3, The Hidden World is finally here and it looks so good. In this new movie, Hiccup and Toothless finally discover their true destinies as the village chief and the leader of the dragons. But as they both ascend, the darkest threat they ever get to face as well as the appearance of a female night fury will test the bonds of their relationship like never before. This movie is set to be released next year, but here's a sneak peek. Save him. You and me, bud. Always. Speaking of cool new trailers, Spider Man Into the Spider Verse is out as well. This movie's coming out this Christmas. Check it out. I see the spark in you. It's amazing. Hands up! Whatever you choose to do with it, you'll be great. Speaking of movies, it's that time of the week where I let you guys know it's super cool, awesome movies are in box office this weekend. And we have Ocean's 8, Hereditary, and Hotel Artemis. Alright, let's start off with Ocean's 8. This movie is rated 14A and it's an action crime thriller movie. In this movie, you'll see A-list actors such as Sandra Bullock, Kate Blanchett, Anne Hathaway, Mindy Kaling, Aquafina, Sarah Paulson, Rihanna, Helena Bonham Carter, and James Corden. Yeah, had to get all eight ladies in there, plus James. <laughs> Five years, eight months, 12 days and counting. That's how long Debbie Ocean has been devising the biggest heist of her life. Her and her team are going after $150 million in diamonds, but the diamonds just so happen to be around the neck of a world famous actress who is attending the Met Gala. But these girls will stop at nothing to get what they came for. You know what they say, diamonds are a girl's best friend. In three and a half weeks, the Met will be hosting its annual ball. And we are going to rob it, not the ball itself, oh. on the neck of Daphne Kluger. Valued at over a hundred million dollars. The 150 million, actually. <laughs> Next, we have Hereditary. This movie is rated 14A and it's a horror movie. This movie has an intimate cast including Tony Collette, Gabrielle Bryan, Alex Wolf, and Anne Dode, among others. In this movie, we follow the Graham family as they start to unravel following the death of the reclusive grandmother. Even after she's gone, she still manages to cast her dark shadow over the family, especially her loner teen granddaughter, Charlie, who she's always had an unusual fascination with. As an overwhelming terror begins to take over the household, their mother is forced to explore a darker realm in order to escape the unfortunate fate they've inherited. This movie is said to be one of the creepiest movies to come out in years. So yeah, if you're a horror fan, then this is for you. Next. Hotel Artemis, this movie is also rated 14A and it's an action sci-fi suspense movie. In it, you'll see Jodie Foster, Dave Bautista, Sophia Boutella, Sterling K. Brown, and Charlie Day among others. This movie takes place in 2028. The most violent riot in LA currently is in its third night. Throughout the chaos, four masked men find themselves in the middle of a failed bank heist. Take a look. This is what I do. Visiting hours are never Night at the Alright, and it's that time of the video where I answer your questions and read comments from the previous video, so let's get started. Isaac Johnson said, OMG, 13 reasons why season 3, I actually can't wait. Same here, but I must say, I do need a bit of a break after watching season 2. Yeah. That was a lot. We have another 13 Reasons Why fan, Alex Rodriguez, who said, I love 13 Reasons Why. This is my favorite show since the Fosters got canceled. Oh my god, I love the Fosters. I'm so sad it's over. But Callie and Mariana are getting their own spin off, so that's pretty cool. Next, Tyara Chella said, My birthday is also on the 6th of September. LOL, three months to go, yeah. Yeah, another birthday twin. But now that I'm older, it's kind of not as exciting as when I was a kid. Yeah, as an adult, birthdays aren't that fun. <laughs> Next, Dan H said, I have not got the ginger emoji, sadly. Yeah, what the heck is up? Where is it? V Blue said, oh, hell nah. Yeah, I know, right? I'm not into moving teddy bears either. All right, and there you guys have it. That's all the questions I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to show them some love by giving this video a big thumbs up. Leave your questions down in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe and turn on that notification bell for more awesome videos. I hope you all have an awesome weekend, and I'll catch you in the next one.